When GNSS interruptions are inevitable, worsening position accuracy doesn't have to be. OXTS GXIX tight coupling technology alleviates the impact of partial and complete GNSS obstructions on the accuracy of your data. So, how does it work? Firstly, GXIX ensures that your navigation data makes use of every available satellite at every point throughout the route. To compute position, GNSS only and loosely coupled INS solutions need to track at least four satellites consistently. Any fewer and updates will either stop or be computed solely by the IMU with increasing error, even if one, two or three satellites are still visible. With GXIX, the OXTS INS makes use of every visible satellite, no matter how few are visible at that moment. When fewer than four satellites are visible, GXIX blends the remaining signals with the output of a high-grade inertial measurement unit to aid the navigation solution and guard against degrading accuracy. We call this single satellite aiding. The second way GXIX enhances navigation data accuracy in challenging environments is by reducing RTK reacquisition time. When GNSS signals are temporarily but completely interrupted by bridges, short tunnels, and other common obstructions, RTK lock is lost, and a GNSS only or loosely coupled INS must reacquire it from scratch. This can mean 10 to 20 seconds is spent outside of RTK after every interruption, no matter how brief, whilst the computation is completed. With GXIX, RTK relock time is reduced to around five seconds. The inertial measurements are used to narrow down the possible solutions, which in turn reduces the computation time. When you consider how many GNSS interruptions a vehicle encounters on a typical route, it's clear to see the difference this makes to the accuracy of the data. GXIX tight coupling technology supports the four main GNSS constellations, GPS, GLONASS, Galileo and Beido, and is available on all OXTS inertial navigation systems. To find out more, talk to us today.